Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about the Nemo Astrolite. Definitely my favorite sleeping pad. Stick around and find out why. Okay, so what is it about the Nemo Astrolite that I love so much? Well, I've used it a lot for kayaking, backpacking, overnighting, all kinds of different things. It actually has 3.5 inches of padding underneath it, believe it or not, and it only weighs 17 ounces. Here it is. This is the actual sleeping pad when it's all packed up. You can see that it's like next to nothing. There's nothing there. So you can pack it very lightly. You can, you can go anywhere with it. And the nice thing about it is that you've actually got a nice little pull strap on it. So here's the pull strap so you can tighten it up nice and tight. It's in its own nice little bag here. So if we take the bag out and you open it up, you can pack it away. It's got flaps over the top. So we'll pull it out. Here's the actual sleeping pad itself. So we can put the bag off the side. You see if you open up the sleeping pad, it's also got a bag to fill up the actual sleeping pad. And what's really nice about this is that unlike other sleeping pads, this one, this fill bag actually opens up quite well. Um, it's got a big, as you can see, here's the actual fill bag. It's got a big opening to, to let you blow into it with your mouth and fill it up with air. It's also got the ability to just basically hold it if it's a windy day and let the wind bl blow into it. And what you do, if you look here, is it shows you the instructions on it as to how to fill it up and bl blow into it. And you attach this little part onto your sleeping pad, this part here. And then what you do is you basically just take this one, it's full of air, roll it up and it blows it into the sleeping pad. Now, you would think that because of the fact that we've got the air inside of here that you would let it go and it would come out, but they've thought about that and they've actually built into the sleeping pad itself a one-way valve. So what happens is you'll notice that this is actually open now. If I take this valve and I plug it into the actual sleeping pad, like so, okay? There, it took me a second to get it, but there you go. That's now a one-way valve. So when I blow the air in, it doesn't come back out. So that actually means that when I fill up that bag, I can pump all the air into the sleeping pad, and then I can actually take it off and fill it up again and put it back in again. That way, you don't really have to worry about about the air escaping as you're tr trying to fill up your sleeping pad. And when it's filled up, you simply clip the top on and you're done. And when you're, when you're gonna deflate it, you simply pull the bottom one out and it just lets all the air out and you just pack it up like you normally would. So it's an extremely handy little sleeping pad and it's definitely, definitely my favorite by far. I've used it all over the place. I've been in the back country many times with it. I don't think you will ever, ever, ever go wrong with this sleeping pad. Okay, so let's talk about some of the specifications of the Nemo Astrolite. I'm going, I've got the box here, so I'm gonna actually tell you a little bit right off the box. Uh, the number one thing, first of all though, that I actually bought this for was because of the fact that they offer a lifetime warranty with the thing. So if you ever have any defects with it and stuff, you can just send it back and they will give you a uh, new one. Now, I haven't had to try it out, so I can't really comment as to the effectiveness, but the fact that they actually back it up with a lifetime warranty tells you a lot about the product. So anyways, here's the actual Astrolite specs. The pad size that I got was the actual wide one. So it's actually 76 inches by 25 inches by three and a half inches high. 
its temperature range is good from 35 degrees Fahrenheit to 45 degrees Fahrenheit or 2 to 7 degrees centigrade. So what that means is that depending on on your uh, body it depend it means the amount of warmth that you're going to feel. So so somewhere in between 2 to 7 degrees Celsius you're probably going to start to feel cold. It's as simple as that if that's the temperature outside. It actually weighs 17 ounces or 490 grams, which is great for a sleeping bag. Okay, it packs down to 9.5 by 3 inches and the thickness is three and a half inches. It's made out of 20D polyester and the technology is what they call lay low multivalve, which actually acts as like um, a type of warm, I don't know, a warmer layer. So it puts in multiple layers in there. So that, those are the specifications on it. It's like, it's really is quite the sleeping pad. And I really, really hope that you think about using this one because um, yes, it's a little more expensive than the others, but honestly, I can't, I don't see myself actually using another sleeping pad for quite a long time, unless it's winter. And in the winter hiking, well, that's a different story altogether. But as far as I'm concerned, this is my sleeping pad. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope that you come back for more. Cheers. Bye.